Greetings comic book fans and welcome to Dude's Comic Haul. I'm Jason and this is my weekly video where I share with you the new comics I picked up today and officially the best day of the week, new comic book day. 16 books I got this week, 15 that I got that were out like this week and one that I was tempted to buy last week but didn't give in to temptation till this week. So that's quite good for me, you know, to wait an extra week. Yeah, that's quite good. Anyway, so let's get straight into this stack of books. We're going to start with the, the book I'm most looking forward to, most anticipating this week. Um, it is X-Men 92, issue number one. Um, I loved this cartoon show back in the day. Plus the fact we get a bit of Wolverine, which I'm really missing my Wolverine. Plus the fact as well we get like kind of as close to the classic lineup as you're going to get. Um, that's one thing. I've loved that the stories they've done in recent years with the X-Men with the split and you know going to live on the island and then Wolverine breaking up with Cyclops and all of that and Cyclops then going like really out there and there's just some really interesting stuff with his character but I am really hungry to see them back together as a team that would be really cool so I'm really excited I'm hoping this is going to be good because I'm really looking forward to it we then have another issue number one but from last week it is Black Canary issue number one um, I finished up reading Batgirl last night, I read issue, no, this earlier today, I read issue 39, no, no, yeah, it was last night, I'm telling you, since I turned 39, my memory is just going to pieces, I'm dreading 40 because 39 is just terrible, uh, my knees ache, my, you know, my memory's going, if this is what 39's like, I'm going to be ridiculous when I'm 40, but anywho, Getting back to the comics, um, I finished reading last night um, Batgirl issue 39 and 40, so I was up to date with Batgirl, and I really liked uh, Black Canary in that, and it's the same writer that writes her here, so I thought I'll check that out. I was tempted last week, but now that I'm, I'm up, up to date with Batgirl, I thought, yeah, I've got to give that a go. Um, speaking of Batgirl, we have Batgirl issue 41, which I'm really looking forward to. Lately, I've kind of had some lessons in maybe having a bit more patience with books. I know with Spider-Woman, I, I stuck with that book, even though the first few issues weren't the greatest. Once it got past the Spider-Verse stuff, the book picked up. And now it's one of my favorite books and one of the ones I really anticipate reading, so I really enjoy it. It's a really great book. But if I had, like, if I hadn't had the patience to stick with it, I, would, I could have easily have dropped that and I'm kind of thinking maybe when I jump onto a book I need to think more seriously do I want to jump on this book and if I'm going to jump on give it at least an arc and then make a decision whether I'm going to stay on it because I know with this um, with the new first issue with the new creative team I liked it I didn't love it for me the problem I had was she was so, so different because um, I never knew no I never read anything with Batgirl or Barbara Gordon before the New 52. So my first experience was the Gal Simone run. So that was my first experience of Barbara. And so they come in, they give her this totally different character that she goes out and has parties. And she was totally different, so carefree, which for her age is how she should be behaving, how she should be, uh, or how you'd expect it to be. But that we hadn't had that, it was kind of like, he felt like a totally different character. But if I'd have, but when you get to the end of that first arc, there's explanations in there in why she chose to be like this now. And I like, I, I so it was one of those things that if you'd been patient and you gave them an arc and said, well, show me what you're going to do with that girl, by the first arc, they win you over. And I, that's what they did. As, as the issues went on, I was just like, why had I, why had I dropped this? I should have been more patient. I kept like, you know, saying, damn you, Jason, you should be more patient. Um, so I, Having read and been up to date with this book now, I'm really excited for this issue. I'm enjoying it. Of course, we know the new Batman. We know that he is a relation to Batgirl. And so that's going to be interesting because neither of them knows about each other's superhero activities. So that's going to be an interesting wrinkle. Um, that I'm looking forward to seeing how that dynamic plays out. Whether they play with them learning. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that. That there's, there's some good potential stuff here, so 
looking forward to that and also where they were going with the computer program i've just got this feeling we're going to see oracle but maybe a computer version of barbara gordon will be oracle so that oracle will still be there um so yeah that that so i'm look, looking forward to seeing if i'm right on that score we then have superman issue number 41 uh, continues the whole true thing it isn't really a story arc it's just basically what's happened is that superman has been outed the world now knows that superman is clark kent and it and rather than this being like an arc each each kind of book is dealing with a different aspect of it last week superman wonder woman dealt with smallville and how it's affected smallville um you had superman Bat batman superman sorry that dealt with more with with Superman dealing with Bruce's death and this new Batman. You had Action Comics which, deal in, which is dealing more with Metropolis and this one, I, if I'm to understand right, is going to tell us why he's got no powers. Why Lois Lane revealed that he was Clark Kent and why his, his powers are kind of depleted. So, um, yeah, but so far I've really been enjoying all the different Superman books. I'm, I'm glad I jumped back on them all. Well, I say back on the more because I, I wasn't reading Batman Superman. I hadn't read that one from the start. Um, but yeah, I'm reading all of them now and really enjoying it. We then have Ninjak, issue number four. Love that cover. Really do. Um, and I'm loving this series. I felt the last issue was the best one they've done yet. So I'm hoping that the upward curve goes back, get, continues with this. Um, and we learn more about that lady on the cover. Uh, we then have Planet Hulk issue number two. I enjoyed the first issue. I mean, th th sometimes names can burden people with things. Because this is called Planet Hulk, and that story is one of my favourite all-time stories, and I have it on a pedestal. Um, when you put its name to something, I have high expectations. So, and maybe unrealistically high expectations. And so, anytime you know if they'd have called this something else like island of the hulks or you know something like that then you then i wouldn't have had the same kind of problem but hey but at the same time while this gives expectations it also gives sales because people say oh it's planet hulk i'll buy that I'll see what that's about so it, it's kind of like I, i'd imagine it, it's a double-edged sword you you get the recognition because and more sales because of the name but then at the same time, there are going to be people that are unhappy with it because they have such high expectations. So I wonder if in the long run, if it works out at all, if it one negates the other. Uh, anyway, but I enjoyed, I did enjoy the first issue and, and I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing where they go with this. We had XO Man Award, the 25th anniversary special. This came out, I think, last week or the week before. And my comic shop never got it in. But the brilliant thing about my comic shop, if for some reason something doesn't come in, you know it's going to be in your order. You, you don't have to worry about going and finding it. You'll get it. It might be a week or two late, but it'll be there. We then have Doctor Who, 10th uh, Doctor Adventures, season number 12. I'm sure this book came out like a week or two ago. Um, it seems like I only read it two weeks ago. Uh, but yeah, I'm enjoying this. Um, I think... I'm, I'm divided between this and the 12th Doctor being the best. I've not been consistently impressed with the 11th Doctor one. I think it started off strong, but it kind of petered out a bit. But the last couple of issues have been better. Um, with this one, I think it's been a lot more consistent, as has the, the, the 12th Doctor. So, yeah. But I like the last issue, this really nice ending to the last issue. And I'm really intrigued to see where they're going to go with that. We then have the Infinity Gauntlet issue number two. Uh, this was one, because I'd never read the Infinity Gauntlet um, that the name's based off, I didn't really have any expectations going into it. I liked the first issue. It was definitely different to what I was expecting, but it, in good, different in a good way. And I'm looking forward to seeing uh, where we go. And also, I really enjoyed the Dustin Weaver art. That was really good. We then have Daredevil issue number 16. Uh, with this book just keeps chugging along uh, and just being brilliant. Last issue was George Rappingly good. I think it was last issue we had the reveal, wasn't it, of a certain character being back and that Matt needs his help. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Invisible Republic issue number four. Loving this winning. Unexpected Direction last issue and looking forward to seeing the fallout to that. 
We have Black Widow issue number 19, which kickstarts a Last Day story. Um, so, yeah, we'll see. I really enjoyed Black Widow. I still don't know with these Last Days books, is this like the books finishing? Or is this just something for them to do through Secret Wars? Um, we will see. We then have the Flash issue 41, and I've got a tell called Blank to what happened last issue. But we've got Professor Zoom back, so that's going to be interesting. Um, I have been enjoying this book, really love Brett Booth's art. But um, at the moment, I've just got a real blank spot of what happened. Hopefully, when I start reading it, it will all come flashing back. We then have Uncanny Avengers, issue number 5. Which this book seems I don't know if it's because it's on there it's only monthly and Marvel often like have a different kind of release schedule for their books. Um, it seems ages between issues to this. Uh, and it's also a kind of bizarre book because it's off in its own bubble. Uh, nothing to do with anything else that's going on in Marvel at the moment. So that's kind of interesting. But it's also kind of nice to have a book that's just totally unaffected by everything and just carrying on telling its story. I, I there's part of me that really likes that and really digs that. We then have Aquaman issue number 41, the new creative team, we have, I think it's Trevor McCarthy and Art and Colin Bunn writing, um, as you can see from the cover, it looks like Aquaman's going to get a new outfit, um, which I'd imagine is more in tone with what they're going to be doing in the, in the Justice League movie, so uh, it's going to be interesting where we go with, with this. Um, I've enjoyed this book and enjoyed it. I never read this character before the New 52 started. Um, so I've only ever read the New 52 version. But I've really enjoyed what they've done with this book. And I'm, I'm intrigued to see where Colin Bunn is going to take it. Because I've only ever read Colin Bunn do kind of uh, villains or characters that have got a bit of an edge. Characters like Deathpool. Um, not Deathpool. Deadpool, sorry. Deadpool and Wolverine characters like that that got that bit of an edge or villains like Magneto or Sinestro who probably aren't totally fully fledged evil villains but they have villainous actions even if their motives are not as villainous um, so yeah it'd be interesting how he's going to write Aquaman is he going to give him that bit of an edge or is he going to write him as like the hero that he's been written so far um, yeah so that will be interesting I'm looking forward to, to that um, and then finally another book I've jumped back on it is Grayson issue number nine. I dropped this after issue three. Now sometimes like my I'm swear my logic circuits are faulty and I need to go and get an MOT because my logic sometimes just does not make sense. And I sit back and I think well, why did I do that? Um, the the plan was I was enjoying this book um, and I decided you know what. I want to read Nightwing, Nightwing and, and see more of the character. So, I looked up on eBay and it was going to cost a fortune. And it was going to be really difficult to find all the issues. And some of them were going to be ridiculously priced. So I thought, get it in trade. And I'm kind of one of these people, if I get something in trade, I get it all in trade. Or if I get it in single issues, I get it all in single issues. I can't mix and max. I've got some kind of malfunction that my brain can't cope with having the two um, of the one thing so I decided you know what I'll get this in trade so it's all kind of all my Dick Race and stuff will be in trade fine the flaw in my plan was like because I, I, I buy so many comics A I don't really have the time I've got a bunch of Marvel graphic novels to get through but I just don't have the time to read them and then the money as well uh, I haven't got the spare cash to be buying them the time to read them so the whole trade thing kind of fell by the wayside and the plan didn't really work so I've decided you know what um, yeah at some point in the future I'd like to get the Nightwing New 52 um, graphic novels but until at such time as I do I'm going to get this in singles uh, so when I get paid, I'm going to be getting the issues I'm missing. So to, this week's a bit of an experiment. I'm going to read this. And I've not read nothing of Grayson since issue 3. So I'm going to read this and I'm going to see how much of the story I can follow. Uh, because, you know, really, 
every comic should be able you should be able to pick up a follow but you can't these days and I don't know if the stories have got more complex or if the writers maybe have got a bit lazy because they know it's going to be collected as a six, six issue arc so they don't think of them as so much as single issues they think of it as the trade so they don't put as much in there to remind so I think the best writers they always put that in I think the best writers when you read an issue you can follow it it doesn't matter um, you know, that, but that's my personal opinion. But yes, yeah, so that's going to be an interesting experiment with Grayson this week. So those are my books done. Uh, it is hot in here. Um, we've actually got a nice weather here in the UK, and I'm going, I'm enjoying it. the hot weather, but it is hot. Um, so getting a bit sweaty here. So I'm going to go cool off, get a nice cool beverage, and read some comics while my video uploads. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Um, I will be back on the weekend at some point with a, a review video and then I will be back next Wednesday with another haul video thank you very much for watching oh I also I will be doing some reviews on my tumblr if you go to my youtube page you'll see the link for my tumblr um, at the moment I'm doing two a week I want to try and increase it um, and I'm going to try I've got little ways I'm going to try to try and do a review a day maybe because uh, they don't take that long to do so I'm going to try and find the time to do that the whole idea of using Tumblr was that I can do it from my phone I don't have to be on my, my, my computer so I can do it from my phone or my tablet so that was the whole idea of using Tumblr so hopefully I'll be able to get into a routine and, and get get one a day so if you want to see and the reviews they're different to my video ones because they're like my instant reactions my instant takes when I've had a few days to think about something it'll be different from my instant take sometimes so that's kind of the perspective I'm going from on tumblr they're like instant reviews my instant opinions uh, anyway so yeah so if you want to check out more reviews check them out on tumblr I will be back on the weekend with my reviews Thank you very much for watching my video. I've been Jason. This has been Dude's Comic Hall. Bye for now.